ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சக்திஸ் நாலேஜ் ஹப் மை செல்ஃப் டாக்டர் சக்தி சுகன்யா இன் அவர் டுடேஸ் டிஸ்கஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த டாபிக் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆர் சிக்னிஃபிகன்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் வி ஆல் நோ தட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இஸ் பிளேயிங் இட்ஸ் ரோல் இன் எவ்ரி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் அண்ட் டெஃபினெட்லி தேர் வில் பி சம் ரீசன் ஆர் இம்பேக்ட் ஆர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹேவிங் அ மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் த கன்சர்ன் ஸோ தட் இஸ் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் இன் டீடைல் management is concerned with acquiring maximum prosperity with the minimum effort the following are the further highlights of the significance or importance of management it means management is playing a very important and a predominant role in every organization and which is acquiring the maximum prosperity with the minimum effort so as much as possible if you are having a good management and the proper regulation it is easy for the organization to achieve its goal or the objective that is with the minimum effort because we have a very experienced person a knowledge to people to take care of the organization as well as to handle the situation so in that aspect definitely that management will helps to achieve the organizational goal with the minimum effort and here are some of the list of uh, importance or uh, the reason why the management is required for an organization like achievement of goals optimum utilization of resources like this all this thing we are going to discuss each and everything in a detailed manner the first reason why management is important is achieving of group goals goal or objective or aim is the primary thing for every organization so in that basis to achieve it management is playing a very important role let's see it management makes the group efforts more effective the group as a whole cannot realize its objective unless and until there is a mutual cooperation and coordination among the members of the group so every organization a uh, number of people will be working so they can be either in a group or team or in any aspect and it is not possible for one individual to perform all the task or activity so what they are saying is the group effort is more important and that should be effective so if you want to have that group effort and it should be very effective means there should be a proper coordination and the cooperation between the members of the particular team or particular group and management creates team work and team spirit in the organization by developing a sound organization structure as we discussed in the previous topic called the organization structure or the hierarchy that denotes and that will help to make a proper team work and a team spirit that is the understanding and cooperation between the members in the organization it brings the human and material resources together and motivates the people for the achievement of goal of the organization so what it will be doing it will helps to bring or will be coordinating or bringing all the resources together like the human resource or all the materials or the tools things which is required for the organization to do its work and definitely that will help to motivate the people because everything is there the management is there the goal is set everything was going well definitely that will support the people those who are working and that will motivate the person to achieve the goal of the organization the second significance is optimum utilization of resources optimum in the sense the maximum or the possible utilization of resources the available resources of production are put to use in such a way that all sort of wastages and inefficiencies are reduced to the minimum and workers are motivated to put in their best performance by the inspiring leadership managers create and maintain an environment conducive to highest efficiency and performance as much as possible without making any wastages or without making any inefficiency in their work all the resources will be utilized by the people with the support of manager that is the management and they will take care of their production activity so automatically that will reduce the wastages and inefficiency and also workers will be motivated to perform their task in the best manner as much as possible they will try to put all their effort and also depends on the motivation and the inspiring leadership by the manager they they will give the best performance they will give the maximum input by themselves as a working people managers create and maintain the environment conducive to highest efficiency and performance the manager will and it's his responsibility to create a good environment for his employees and that will make them to do their performance in a very best manner 
and the next is minimization of cost cost in the sense the expenses which is incurred by the organization to make some production or to achieve some objective so they have to be very conscious in minimizing the cost because depends on this only the profit of the organization will be decided so that is what highlighting here in the modern era of intense competition every business enterprises must minimize the cost of production and distribution because they need to spend lot and lot of money for each and every activity what they are doing like starting from initiation of structuring the goal and objectives of the organization the production process allocations of all the resources everywhere they need to incur cost so it is very important to minimize it then only they could survive in the competitive business environment a study of the principles of management helps in knowing certain techniques using for reducing the cost there are so many analyses so many researches has been conducted by the different authors and the researchers in the case of principles of management that is while structuring the principles of management itself there are so many techniques has been trialed has been done as a research to come to a conclusion which thing will help to reduce the cost so some of the techniques like production control budgetary control cost control financial control and material control each and everything is a detailed topic that also we are going to discuss so simply we can discuss like production in what basis uh, we can co make control over the production activity and while making a budget and while spending the cost and while having a financial uh, structures that is the financial management is a separate subject that we will be discussing later and the materials control the way in which we can use the material effectively by controlling its wastage just likewise so many things or so many so sources or techniques we have to minimize the cost the next is change and growth changes in business environment creates uncertainties and risk and also produce opportunities for growth an enterprises has to change and adjust itself in the ever changing environment we all know changes is unpredictable as well as unavoidable it may come in any time but it is very important for every organization to stay strong and to be steady to face whatever the changes is uh, occurring in their uh, situation or occurring according to the business environment so they should be ready according to everything that is a uncertainty or risk sometimes that may create some problems like uncertainty of risk and also sometimes that may create a possible opportunities like growth depends on the competition depends on the market environment anything may happen but the thing is with the support of management and the manager the organization should be ready for any change at any time and the next efficient and smooth running of business for the smooth running of business management is very important and it is playing a very important role it ensures the effective and efficient and smooth running of the business through better planning so in what basis it is highlighting we have to make a better and a proper plan for the organization the sound organization and effective control of the various factors of production there are so many factors which are incurring in the production activity that is to achieve the objectives of the organization so they have to be with a good and effective control over each and everything and also there should be a proper planning over it next is higher profit so making a profit is the primary goal of every organization and that is possible through a proper management profit can be enhanced in any enterprises either by in increasing the sales revenue or reducing the cost so we have two major possibilities to have a good profit either you can increase the sales revenue that is by increasing the sale you will get a good revenue through that we can attain a profit or else we have to reduce the cost and in the previous point we discussed in what are all the ways we can reduce the cost but the aim is to have a higher profit to increase the sales revenue is beyond the control of the enterprises so sale is out of the organization once the product is manufactured and it will be moved on to the sales point that is not in the direct control of the organization in some situations so this sales revenue will be beyond the control but in case of expenses that is the management by decreasing the cost increases its profit and thus provides the opportunity for future growth and development obviously as like what we discussed in the previous point depends upon the cost cutting definitely the organization will have an opportunity to increase its profit and the next is provide innovation 
management gives new ideas imagination and vision to the enterprises obviously this is also the thing we have discussed in the functions of management that this innovation should be one of the subsidiary function of management because there should be an innovation in each and every stages of their business progress then only they can survive in the competitive business environment just like the example what we had discussed like mobile in early stage we don't have a mobile which is having all the facilities what we are having now but now we have everything in the mobile all the facilities all the technologies are including in them so just like that innovation should be there for every organization for its successful survival and next the social benefits management is useful not only to the business firm but also to the society as a whole as we all know every organization is doing some of the work which is required for the society all that we have shortly called as csr that is corporate social responsibility organization or the management should not only take care of its business itself but also have to do some contributions or performances to the society then only they will get a good name and also the running of the organization and its sustainability will be possible and it's like a goodwill it improves the standard of living of the people through the higher production and more efficient use of the scarce resources because it depends on the way the organization is uh, supporting or providing helps to the society the people will also get benefit out of it like number of employment opportunity so through that higher productivity will be possible and also they can use the resources in an effective and efficient manner as well the society will also get developed by the different facilities provided by the organization so that is what the social benefit purpose also management is very much important and the next is useful for developing countries management has to play an important role in developing countries by giving various contribution it is very much important for a competitive business to have a good survival management playing a very important role the contribution by the management is in different aspect so uh, that is also one of the important reason why management is required and the last one is sound organization structure that is the structure or the hierarchy or the level should be very good sound in the sense the good one it should be a good and proper and appreciable one management establishes the proper organization structure and avoids conflict between the superior and subordinates as we discussed in the previous topic like the narrow span of management and the uh, wide span of management we have so many differences between both the thing so based on the nature and depends upon the organization and its structure will they have to assign the span of management that will also be possible through the proper management and its planning and this helps in the development of spirit and cooperation and mutual understanding and a congenial environment is provided in the organization so the organization has to consider in each and every aspect by having a good development and also a mutual understanding between the people it can be either the between the manager to manager or between the employee to employee they should have a proper control coordination and understanding to each other then only they will be able to survive in the competitive environment in a successful manner so these are all the different reason that is the importance or significance of management these are all the different reasons the management is important for every organization and with this we are coming to the conclusion of today's discussion and let's meet soon with the other important topic of management and thank you all for watching have a good day bye